Hunters all across the country will name deer to keep tabs on specific bucks. You hear them all the time. You have High Tower, the Wide Nine, Stickers, the G5 Buck. But when a buck gets the name Christmas Tree, you instantly get vibes of a huge, non typical rack. And in 2014, Dan Kaufman got a trail camera picture of a giant, free range Ohio whitetail that earned him the name Christmas Tree. The two year quest for this buck started in November of 2014 when nighttime trail camera photos tipped Dan off to this buck's existence. It was very clear that this buck was a roamer and was passing through Dan's farm at night. In the 2014-2015 archery season, that buck daylighted one time in the nasty late season weather on February 2nd in Ohio. Dan was at a trade show. All right, so the next deer is the, the Kaufman buck, which the Kaufman buck, this was shot back in 2015, but when Dan shot this, you know, it really kind of set the, the, the deer industry on fire when he shot it because everybody was waiting for 60 days uh, to hear what the final score was to see if this would be a new state record or not. Dan called this the Christmas tree buck, just with all the antlers everywhere. You probably have seen this and, and have heard the stories, but this is also a great one compared to the Raber buck. You know, Dan hunted this thing hard. They, they've saw it for two, three years. He put a lot, a lot of time into it to get this buck so we just we can tell you that you know with the other bucks that like you just get out in the woods you never know and it, you know it just might be luck but this also shows that hard work pays off and so dan's buck actually officially scored after the 60 day drying period at 287 inches 87 and 5 8 inches and i actually we have here this is actually his sheds on both the left side from the two previous years Dan had these and, and we were able to get, get a hold of these, these replicas made. Um, so it kind of just shows you, you know, the growth of it, but he's, he's an incredible deer and uh, it's a pretty cool story to hear somebody that works so hard to, to be able to shoot something like that. In 2015, this buck's rack grew to be what is known as a 300 inch whitetail, possibly a new world record. Dan believed this buck to be nocturnal from the trail camera intel and waited for the weather to be perfect before he went in to strike and October 26, 2015 was the day the stars aligned. Knowing this deer was mostly nocturnal, Dan decided that he needed to make a loud calling sequence to get this buck to leave his bed a few minutes early. And after doing this calling sequence, he noticed this buck standing at 300 yards and he closed the distance all the way to 10 yards, offering Dan a shot to close the deal on this once in a lifetime buck. However, like most deer hunting stories, there's highs and there's lows. Dan took the 10 yard shot on the deer walking, knowing that if he were to stop him that close, he might risk not getting an arrow in this buck. He centered the pin on the deer's chest cavity, let the arrow fly, heard the sound that every deer hunter wants to hear, and watched the buck run off with his arrow sticking out. Knowing this is a world-class deer and not seeing the deer crash, Dan decided to back out to not risk bumping him. He took all the proper steps to recover this deer, called a dog, called the game warden, and went in the following morning. However, after a long track with the dog, they were not having any luck finding the deer. After grid searching every property they had access to, walking the creeks, and sweeping every CRP field around, they still have not recovered the deer. However, there was one small thicket left to check. Finally, after checking this one last small thicket, Dan's buddy actually trips over this world-class deer leading to the buck's recovery. The 35-point rack of the deer named Christmas tree scored 287 and 5 eighths inches, making it the number two archery buck in the world at that time. 